ask me what I'm coaching, right? I said, bro, I'm coaching life. I said, bro, I'm coaching life. They asked me what I'm coaching, right? I said, bro, I'm coaching life. I said, bro, I'm coaching life. I want you to sincerely, wholeheartedly, earnestly give your life to God and leave this bullshit alone, son. I want you to give, I want you to totally commit and submit your ways to the will of Yahweh. That's what I want you to do. And leave this so called. Yo, your boy funny as hell. <laughs> yeah, Sinful is your boy Sinful. That guy's hilarious, yo. Sinful he was PM going in boy. about that little He's subject hilarious. happened on um online with uh Adam Twenty Two and them. I don't we don't gotta go oh, into yeah, details nah, with that. Yeah, that shit was wild. Like, about, it just yeah. was a funny ass clip I wanted to play at the top of. Let's yep. let's do let's do Oh yeah, we got episode two thirty seven of Coach Class Pod. Like great, subscribe on all platforms. Y'all know where to find us, link in the bio. Yes, please but remember subscribe, that, man. Notification bell that notification bell out, man. It'll pop up right on your phone, wherever you watch us at. And uh, I don't even know. Some people might watch us in the morning, might be during the day, at night. I don't know what you're doing. So subscribe now. Please. Yes, yes. <laughs> and y'all here, we got the third voice Heard on. Heard that man. voice. Not only a third voice, it's, it's like well, I've known you for a long time, dog. Long time, like, and I bro. love to see the moves you making. Big you doing big stuff, brother. Right, we're I like this working, it. Yeah, we're return working, guys gave us early love. Yeah, that Ron was like Don yeah. showed us early what was love. That, like our third, fourth episode. Yeah. That was my Your first ever basement. Yeah, man, that was shout out, Mom Deuce. Thanks, Mom, for letting us record in the basement. <laughs> we came a long way, bro. For real, man. I'm yeah. proud of y'all, man. I'm happy, bro. I'm excited to be back with y'all, man. For real. Yeah, yeah we appreciate you pulling up. That's really for love, sure, bro. But who do we got? Yeah, we got Ron and Don again. Uh, doing great things, making big moves, bro. So. I know you got um, uh, announcements to make, basically, mm-hmm. on something that you're working on, because you, you're a man of multiple uh, hats, if you will, jack mm-hmm. of all trades. Mm-hmm. He, he does all things. I do it all, man. A man with the plan. Yeah. So, I don't even know where to start, man, but game plan coming soon. Um, matter of days. It might be out by the time y'all see this, so get to man. We're going to change our lives with this, man. I can't wait to tell y'all all about it today. Yeah, so you dropping a book. Um mm-hmm. Would you just say overall for the people that's uh, going to tap into the book, what's the overall takeaway you want a lot of readers to get from this? All right, so it's not really like an autobiography; it's more like a workbook. So I'm, the whole book, the whole point of it is help people find their like their true self and like see their life from a bird's eye view, right? So how I see is like like my whole background always was like consulting, and marketing, and management with people, right? And so many people got all these talents. They everyone like everybody I came across most likely uses like a genius. I'm mm-hmm. like yo, like a lot of people I come across, but it's like we all be having certain traits that like that hinder us, right? Mm-hmm. And it might be like all right, it might be relationship wise, it might be emotional wise, it might be survival wise, it might be financial, it might be whatever the case may be. But it be certain little things that might tend where we might can't reach our full potential. And my whole goal is to help people find their maximum potential mm-hmm. and like you know find their true self. So for the whole workbook. It's for you to get more in depth about your goals, what you're good at, what you're bad at, what can you improve on, so you can know your true self and you know and grow in life. So like this, this started mainly like when I when I was depressed, right? And like you know I played basketball growing up, you know that was like my main thing. Mm-hmm. And when I got to that point where I was like, damn, I'm five six, I'm 162 pounds, mm-hmm. I'm like. I don't think I'm going to go to the white NBA. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. like, shout out to Muggsy and them, but you it's know what tough. I'm like, shout out to them because I'm like, yo, I couldn't do it. I'm like, damn, like, I was good. I'm in a round away. I'm doing this. But I was yeah. like, I can't play with Derrick Rose right now. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I can't play this <laughs> job. Right? You know what I'm saying? So it got to a point I got depressed. Because so I'm like, every day in school is just like, I mean, you go to school, you got uh, workouts, you got study hall, you know, you got your schedule. Yeah. And after that was done, I'm like, yo, what do I do in my day? Like, who am I? Like, like you know, I'm walking around the campus or whatnot. I'm just like, it ain't like, oh, yo, you got a game today. Yo, I can't wait to see you play. Blah, blah, blah. I see what you did yesterday. It's like, like people just walking past me. People, there's nothing to talk about. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, bro. I'm like, yo, like, what the hell I got going on for my life? You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So I got to a point where I'm just like partying a lot. I'm drinking a lot. I'm just... Doing anything under the sun, you know what I'm saying? But I'm really like now that I'm looking at it now, I'm realizing like that was like depression. I was like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? I was going through things because it's like I'm just excessively just out, 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 out. But I'm trying to find something, yeah. you know. So I had like sit down in the mirror when I'm looking at my bank account. I'm like, yo, it's negative sixteen dollars yeah. in this joint. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like real time. Car man. car issues happening. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Starting like life is starting to catch up where it's like, what you about to be doing? Yeah. How you know, so all you know, so you know all those conversations, you know what I'm saying? Like family members got health issues, just mm-hmm. things is happening, you know. So I had to really like sit down and say, like, all right, I had to reflect first. I had to figure out like what are you doing wrong? What are you doing right? What are you, you know what I'm saying? Who are you? Yeah. Then I had to figure out like what's your strengths? What are your weaknesses? What are your opportunities around you? What are your threats? So it's like a SWOT analysis, right? So I had to like sit down, like, this is what I'm doing just naturally, though. This is not like on a book side. It just, I'm just sitting in the mirror. I'm like, yo, what are you good at doing? I'm like, I'm good at talking. I'm good at helping people. I'm good at this. You know what I'm saying? Then I'm like, all right, I'm not good at like working environments. I'm not good at this because like, I, I probably kept a job. I did a target job for mm-hmm. a while. I did like State Farm for like two months. I did another job. It was like my mind just be racing, so I couldn't ever keep a job. But it wasn't like I was like a shit ball enough, and it just yeah. like I, just like it just my mind couldn't go because like, I needed to create stuff. Yeah. So as I'm figuring like what I'm good at, what I'm bad at, the whole nine, I had to realize like, okay, all right, from this, like what am I trying to get to in life? You know, mm-hmm. so, so I'm just going through this whole process. So everything I came through, like mentally, I put in a book. Yeah. You know, and I wanted to help other people because. It started before, like, before I'm trying to set a goal of saying I'm trying to make a million dollars, I had to figure out how I can even get through my day without being stressed out. Or I had to get through my day being fit. Or how to, you know what I'm saying, how to worry about all those things first to even lead up to it. So it's just all about, like, building habits, creating, like, a system for yourself that works, you know what I'm saying, for you you to be valuable. So I just wanted to put in a book so it helped other people because I seen what it helped me and my homeboys, you know. No, that's hard. You know what I'm saying? Like, Like, on the end of the years... Like me, Fatty, G, we always get together. We just write out our goals. You know what I'm saying? What are we gonna do? Like That's good Fatty shit. will hit us like, yo, it was the end of the year. What are we gonna y'all do? Are legendary you know what I'm saying? Too, like, like you know what I'm saying? Like we be on that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yo, end of the year, like, what we what y'all gonna do this year? Like, like you know what I'm saying? We gonna be shit balls or you gonna you know what I'm saying? So we we get together. We get together in somebody basement, hovered up, and then that's when I'm like, bro, like I know how to map this type of stuff out. Like I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I know how to like organize this thing, and I made it. And then it's like, you know, it's been that for real, That's bro. tough. That's tough. Where yeah. can they find the book at? And we're going to have all the links yeah. in, our, in everything, yeah, so, too. So yeah, so it's going, we're we going to drop on Amazon, um, and we're going to drop on my website, dawnenterprises.net. So tough. it's going to be there. Um, people that's like, local, that down, I'm having some local, uh, like, storefronts and things like that in the area where they can just pull up, grab them. Tough. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, we're going crazy, bro. Like, <laughs> I love it. Like, it's so crazy because I wasn't even going to do it this year, right? Yeah. Last year, I did it. And a lot of you, not seven people got it. But I didn't have a hard copy. I just had, like, they just like, print it out on paper and do mm-hmm. it. But only seven people bought it, right? And it was bothering me a little bit because I'm like, we always be complaining about why we don't have enough money, or why we don't have enough time, why we don't have enough freedom, why we don't do this in life. But then it's like, when we, like, we don't want to sit down for 30 minutes or an hour to lock in for yourself. Yeah. And I had people tell me, bro, That's like, real, yo, I, I like what you just did, but it, it caused me to think too much. I ain't really like that. And I'm like, this is your life. Yeah. So if you don't yeah. want to lock in for 30 minutes, like, how can you complain though? You know yeah. what I mean? Like, so like, I wasn't going to do it, bro, this year, you know, and I was going to just keep it just internal, like me, my close people, okay. or whatnot. But then Fatty made an Instagram post talking about, hey, bro, I need my game plan because he takes it serious. Like, this yeah. is like a thing for him. Like, this is like, I can, his, you can like, see like, it though. But you, you, you can, can see it. it. You can yeah, see it in his life though. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Like, you can and see it. Shout out Chris, man. I let it see it, bro. Like, yo, so he made an Instagram post, and and I'm like, come on, bro, like. I already failed with it. Like, why yeah. you put like? So he's like, "What you what you gonna do with it?" Like, I already made a post, and it's like people coming and hitting me up now. So I'm like, "Damn!" So it's been uh, since I t- I think October, I've been working on it, working on it. But I had to figure out ways to make it like more uh, accessible for like the the average eye, where like they could really get through it and yeah. without it. Like, yeah. I feel like it coming at them. Okay. Cause I feel like what I, what I did wrong last time was that I was like too focused on business, and I was just too focused on like. If you shit in the basement not together, you 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 fucking You're up your life. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And I think that was more the like direction a little bit, and like that kind of like geared people away. So I try to make it a little bit more like just calmer, where okay. like anybody could just sit down and do it. So that's why this time I met with like my aunts about it, my mm-hmm. co- older cousins about it, my parents about it. Um, I met with like sisters, I, and then I met with kids about it that okay. I mentor. Like I wanted to see like different people's point of views. I went to a couple schools, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Things like that to see like how do people react to it? You know what I'm saying? How can I keep making changes? Because I made a lot of changes since last year from it. That's so, hard. Yeah. We gotta you know? look through it too, man. I like the, yeah, no, that's, that's how hard. it's interactive too. Mm-hmm. I feel yeah. like it has like an interactive feature. Like you said, it's a workbook, so mm-hmm. that's definitely something that's comprehensible for people. I think. Yeah, man. So I'm hyped for that shit. No, nah, you doing you doing big things, working, bro. bro. Working, I let it bro. See it, bro. Like, yeah. I, I I be like, and it's so crazy, bro. Like, like June, right? 
I think right before what was before June? May. May. All right, May. I, no, all right. So I'm gonna go fast. Fa- go back further. So January, I had a chance to go and work with a record label out in LA, right? But at the time, I was working with a PRP program, mm. and I was like loving it. Like you know, what I'm, saying? I'm doing everything great with it. You know, what I'm saying marketing, I'm mentoring kids. Like he just like give me all his life. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And at the time, like at the time for myself, I actually was making a lot of consistent, consistent, consistent money for myself. So I was like super, like cool with it, right? And I kept having an opportunity to go to LA. And I just was like, I'll go to LA with kind of unpromising. I'm like, I was already been taking risks with my business early. And I'm like, I failed a few times. So I'm like, I just want to just get complacent with a thing. Like, I just want to be comfortable. And I was holding up, holding up all the way like, to like August. And and I finally took the t- I finally took the time to go out there. And when I went out there, I lost all my clients that I had out here because like, I wasn't present. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because like you do marketing and consulting with people. They like, Ron, we not seeing you no more. Like, we don't really want to, you know what I'm saying, pay you like virtually. Like, we want you to be hands on, you know, have your energy, mm-hmm. like how I be coming. Gotcha. So while I'm out there, man, I'm not making bread back home. Yeah. So it's like to even get back home is six hundred dollar flights. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then to get there is like seven hundred dollar flights. Easy. So just to travel yeah. is already eleven hundred, twelve hundred dollars. Yeah. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So you got to eat, you got Ubers, you got this, you got that. So it's like you're already spending four to five thousand dollars in Easy. a five day span. Then gas in L. A. You spend like nine dollars a gallon. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, then you drive on a, a, a SUV truck, so that thing is taking four hundred dollars, three hundred dollars. I'm like, yo, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Nice. So yeah. it was a time period, bro, where this year, where it just hit the fan for me. Like mm-hmm. when I'm just like all motion, just kind of stopped. It's just like really wasn't having clients. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I got opportunities in LA. I got the water here, but then the other things I had going on wasn't really working no more. So it was just like, yo, what am I doing, bro? I'm like, yo, I'm doing everything right. Like I was waking up early, 6 a.m. I'm, you know, I'm eating good. I'm working out, and it still hit hit the fan. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And that's when like life kind of humbled me because it's like it showed me that it's bigger than me. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not here because of just me. Like it's, it's a it's a it's a it's a more higher purpose. You know that we all yeah. have. And I'm like, damn, like I feel like, oh, Ron, you you you, you eat healthy, you doing this, you doing that, everything supposed to go perfect, you know, because you putting the work in, right? Yeah. And it, it wasn't that for the moment, you know. So I had a funky like five month period where it was like, yo, granted I was able to save money and stuff for ahead of time, but yeah. like I brain ain't make a damn near anything for like five months. Yeah. So I'm, put, I'm late on all type of bills. I'm no, the I'm survive like, the you know funky five like, though is bro, real in itself though, bro. You say what? I said that it's a survivor funky five, yo. Bro, that's, that's real in itself. It's yo, real, that bro. That should be happening, man. Like, that's real. It shit. just hit. I'm happy yeah. you're saying that, bro. And I was like, like not really. Life is like that, bro. Vulnerable, and like I'm, that. and I'm I've just had like, moments like that in my life, personally. Yeah, the funky you know I mean? five, and I'm just like, I'm just waking up and like I check my phone, I have nothing to do, mm-hmm. and not because I don't like I get up and I get up and grind every day, bro. And I just simply had nothing to do, bro. Like I'm like no opportunities right now for me, like mm-hmm. nothing to do. Like it, it was really messing my mind up. So it was like. To like get to this point now where it's like, oh, all right, I was working on a book for a while, it's starting to now come out, you know what I'm saying? The new company I plan I'm launching right now is starting to get together. Like, yeah. so all the things I was like preparing for is starting to work, but like that time period was draining, bro. Like, it, oh, was, yeah. it was crucial, you know what I'm saying? So, like, well, anybody I understand, like, that process to get to that new, that next point in life, I understand, like, that little wave right before it started to hit, mm-hmm. like, that it'd be real, bro, for yeah. all of us. Yeah. It's a humbling time. And I like this because it this this kind of shows and reflects on something else you were speaking on before the podcast, if you care to divulge. Um, but you seem to be really good on your mental health bag, too. Yeah, you yeah, feel yeah, me? So yeah. you were speaking about some things before the podcast, so, and now I want you to talk about it. Come on, man. All right, bet, man. So mental health, I'm going to just start with mental health in general, right? Like, this, this in life, you know, like, you start to realize, like, how like fuck that mentally we truly are, right? So I like, picture this like you three years old, you know what I'm saying? You just a baby, and you just every time you just look up, you just see someone picking you up, kissing you, right? You six years old, you go right to like preschool or school or whatever, right? You're just like, all right, you going to school. So it's like, all right, what the hell is even school? Mm-hmm. So now you got one kid that might hit you, one kid that's crying, one kid looking for their parents, one kid peeing on themselves. So you just like, Yo, what you just as a kid, you just like, what the hell is even what is this? You know what I'm saying? Then you go to recess, you have fun, you eat. You play, but it's like, all right, you got to sit down. You got to, like, do work. Mm-hmm. Now you're, like, 11 years old, 12 years old. You know, 
start to like, oh, I see, like, oh, that's a girl, that's a boy, I, oh, I like this person, I don't like this person, this is my friend, it's not my friend, you know, you go through that process, then it's like, mm-hmm. right, this person cross you, this person lies on you, this person gets you in trouble, so it's like, that happens, before you know it, you're in high school, now you messing with girls, mm-hmm. and so now you, you know what I'm saying, you smoking for the first time, you might drink for the first time, you playing sports, you know, mm-hmm. but it's like, all these things that's going on, on top of like, parents might be having issues in the household, might not be food too much every day in your house. Yeah. yeah, it might be a thing where you know what I'm saying, like you try it out for a team, you ain't make it. It might be a thing you outside walking in your neighborhood and you just see someone get shot. Mm-hmm. So it's like all these things happen. You don't even really truly know who you are. Mm-hmm. Like you 17, 18 year old, you still don't even know who you are. Like you ask the average person, like what is your purpose in life or who are you? They might stumble a little bit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because I know I might even stumble at times. Right now, I would definitely stumble. You get what I'm saying? What I'm, I know that. I found a way that works for me, and I've been complacent in that for mm-hmm. a long time. Mm-hmm. I have been, honestly. So even just doing this mm-hmm. personally mm-hmm. was something that I never pictured in my life. So, yeah, I, I get what you're saying, man. That shit can really happen like that. Cause, but that was just how I was brought up. You get what I'm saying? Because you just be just, you just going in emotions. Exactly. Like, you just like, all right, hey, you're going to your aunt's house today. Oh, cousin such as I just coming over. This is your cousin. But you like, how is it? Like, who? You don't even know how is this your aunt or your cousin. Like, you don't even know none of these things that's going on. Mm-hmm. You just know, like, all right, they say that's my family. That's my family. All right, they say I'm supposed to eat this. I'm going to eat this. They tell, tell me I'm not, I'm not going to eat McDonald's today. I'm not going to eat McDonald's. But it's like, you don't know why of nothing. You don't know why yeah. nothing matters. You don't even know who you are. So it's like, you get to the point, you get older, you're adult now, and you now you just got all these random responsibilities. Mm-hmm. Like, damn, I got to pay for my bed. Real, I got to pay for my a, a rent. I got to pay for my car. Like, whoa, like, yeah. like why do I? You don't, you don't even understand how nothing works. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So then it's like, you get into a point where it's like, yo, like, you get depressed. You get sunken in. You get, you know what I'm saying? You start resorting to wanting to mess with 30 women. You want to get, you start resorting to just wanting to drink and do this and cool. get all these outlets to like find different ways to cope yeah. because you're trying to find different ways just to find a peace, but it's not even because you're a bad person. It's just simply because you're just literally just figuring shit out. You're yeah. just going. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And then you're just figuring shit out, figuring shit out until like something bad happens or tragic happens and it's like, oh, it takes for a person to sit down in jail for a minute or get injured or, you know what I'm saying, go through a heartbreak or go through a death that they experience. It's like, yeah. oh, shit, this shit real. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. They'd be like, oh, shit. And it's like, yeah. we get to the point, we such, such years old, they'd be like, oh, shit, now something is real. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like, like no, people don't even know, like, like Maryland, the state of Maryland has an EIN number, right? Mm-hmm. That means it's a business. Mm-hmm. Like, in order to have a president, it's like, like you have a president of a company, like the president of Nike, the president of Adidas. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like this whole th- corporation that we're in is a business. So it's like we be operating in life just trying to operate just love and emotion and things like that, but not even understand like, like we're in a tunnel of just a, of a business. You know what I'm saying? We just like pieces in a thing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's like we don't even know nothing that be going on. So it's mm-hmm. like from all like for me to say all of that, our mental health get affected real like bad. Yeah. We don't, don't know ourselves. Yeah. We eating bad food and putting ourselves so our emotions is changing. The you know worst food. We, the worst food possible. <laughs> so now <laughs> our, like the food, the habit's not right. Now we putting bad supplements in our body. Now we doing this, now we doing that. Now like things is coming about us and we not even feel like at our best. Yeah. And then from that, you know what I'm saying, I realized like mental health is a big thing in the community, definitely in Baltimore, definitely all the young guys I came across, my friends that I came across. Um, outside like my main childhood friends and I realized like we got to focus on this you know what I'm saying so that's just the announcement of just un- introducing Keeping Hopes Alive where it's going to be it's a, it's a, a psychiatric hatchy rehabilitation program Tough. focusing on mental health um, offering like therapeutic services and counseling Tough. to youth and adults for real you know what I'm saying so that's going to be a big Much thing. needed you know in the saying? community, big, big, too. Big, big I thing, love the bro. outreach like, and all the work y'all you know, be doing, too. Yeah, that's all tough. All the time, bro. Like, Toy Drive on December 23rd. I think we're going to give away uh, 3,000 uh, toys. Tough. Um, and just help out as many families as possible. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to get as many people on board. You know what I'm saying? Just bring out a bunch of kids, a bunch of, like, you know what I'm saying, parents that just... They need it, bro. Cause like me knowing my financial situation, how I just got got criminal. I know a lot of people dealing yeah, with a lot of yeah. stuff. You know what I'm saying? That's like, expensive as shit out here. Shit is, saying, shit is high, Wait. bro. Everything is high. You gotta get money now. You it's gotta crazy. you, gotta, you gotta get a lot of money. You gotta get a lot yeah. of money fast. Yes. It's like you yes. know what I'm saying? So yes. it'd be crazy, bro. Cause I'm like, yo, like now hearing just, this kind of thing is is big for me. We talked about this on Nate's episode, but I I went through therapy for what was that like four or five years that I was in therapy for a minute. And it was like you were saying on the, the episode, before we actually got on the episode, about how people can kind of look at it as like, you feel like you're kind of crazy mm-hmm. doing this shit, but it's not. It's something no. that you, it's a, it's, it's, it's a muscle like anything else. So you got to work that shit out a little bit. You got to talk to somebody. And the only way to really work that shit out 
is to talk to somebody. You feel me? You have to. You, you, know you got to learn how to be able to speak out like what you're thinking because so many people like someone might be like, how you feeling? You just be like good, but you don't know if you're good or not. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was yeah. like, oh, like wait, what's on your mind? We just be like, shit, nothing. A lot of times we like, take- A lot of things be on our mind though, but we yeah, just don't even know how to say it. Like, yeah. Sometimes it's, it's good, like you said, to understand that you can't take everything so personally. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like that's what usually drives, like I've, I've gone through those depression phases and I have them come up from time to time where- I kind of just go ghost. I don't really have much of anything where I'm doing like too much of like wilding out or nothing mm-hmm. like that. But yeah. I'll just kind of just go ghost for a minute. I don't mm-hmm. really feel like talking to nobody and shit like that. But I understand where I'm at with it. That's me Through all the, the tools time. that That's they were him. they were able to give me from the therapist that I worked with for that time frame. So that's why I like building something like this. Mm-hmm. It's it's huge because mm-hmm. it can help, even if it helps like a few people. Like I'm telling you, I don't like, care. We just have one big. person, bro. Yeah, that shit is like, so one big person, bro. for a lot of people. Nah, like, that's tough. Bro. I don't like forcing it on people, but I do feel like it's something that pretty much everybody should at least try one time. Mm-hmm. Talk for sure, bro. Just cause, like learn how to talk about your emotions. Like you know yeah. what I'm saying. Like I used to think like you know when your girl would be like. Like, you don't know how to talk. You don't have no motion. You no, don't know how to talk. You know like, what I'm I've you lost think, real shits like, like that. That's another oh thing that's like <clears throat> more mental conditioning, if you will, because we taught to suppress stuff and we taught to not be soft. Mm-hmm. So from young, like you remember like uncles and stuff like, don't be being soft. You don't feel cry, me? Da, 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 da. Like yeah. you got like, yo, that all that stuff is it's a thing that they just instills in you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's like, like. Like, I remember just like I was I was always big or just like just not talking like, yeah. like as far as like like if you if you're in a room it's like it's, like if you're not about to be saying certain like a certain thing it's like just don't talk you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. just like just just simply just don't say nothing like mind your business you know what I'm saying but it's yeah. like damn you be just holding so much in it's like oh shit like damn I do actually feel that I do understand that you know what I'm saying so yeah. it's different. definitely real bro it's definitely real bro and it's like it's just a thing that I, I want everybody in the world just to take on at least once, like you said, for real, because... Just one time, I'm telling you. I did it just once, mm-hmm. and I went for four years. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it just depends on, like... And my I only stopped because it just really got to a point where the conversations were just... It was the same. It didn't really... It wasn't mm-hmm. anything benefit me anymore mm-hmm. at, at I feel that you. point. So, I had so many tools that she had taught me within that that was those four years... That I was able yeah, to kind of start working time. through. Yeah, I, I'm able to work through and process things a little bit better than mm-hmm. I was prior to those four years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where I would just shut down before. Maybe I still need to shut down, but I understand that I'm shutting down now. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to go ahead and hold this time for me, and then I'll get back to it tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Something like that. Because you do real. need that. A reset. Yeah. It's worth reset. It doesn't have to be a whole day like I did. I have the I have the fortunate luxury of doing that sometimes, but not a lot of people have that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you know, yeah. take whatever time you need or find your outlet. You yeah. just gotta mm-hmm. find something, man. Mm-hmm. Serious. That's why I'm hyped about this. Keeping hope. Oh yeah, yeah. You going crazy, That's bro? Keeping like, hopes alive. What, what provokes you to well, have this entrepreneurial spirit, bro? Yeah. Like, yo, you you, you always been cooking. It's always been there. I remember. Since you was little, I ain't even going down bad ah! stories. I knew you was a legend, young. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's, let, let's just say that y'all saying too much. I knew it was legendary. It's, 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 it was his Emmy, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It came up the street. On the... <laughs> Legend. But, bro, like, just seeing, bro, like, just a fan, bro. Like, just everybody just working. Like, everybody was working hard in the family, bro. Mm-hmm. But then it's like, we still going to only do one vacation in the year. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We can... Still, you know what I'm saying, eat out one time. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it was like, that like cap was like always like a farthering thing where it was just like, why do we have to only like do things on a Friday afternoon? Yeah. Like, why can we only do something Saturday, but then Sunday we have to stay to rest and the way we Monday to get ready? You know what I'm saying? It's like that, like, cause like, and that's why I couldn't keep keep jobs for real. Cause like that schedule, like, I can't really, it's hard for me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm so creative that it's like, I gotta just be doing stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, like if I draw a line, this like if I draw a straight line, the very next time I draw a squiggly line. The very next time I might draw like a, a, a dash line. But like mm-hmm. I can't just draw like three lines straight. Like you know what I'm saying? Like that type of thing. Like like I couldn't really be consistent. But it's like I'm, I'm still consistent because every day I did draw a line though. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But it's like okay. so it's like it's not like I'm not consistent where I won't get up and work every day. It's just about how my day looks. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, for me regimen. it was just like I wanted to like just find freedom, bro. Like. Like I like being able to like like this 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 year alone, I probably been on a plane at least thirteen times this year. That's tough. You get what I'm saying? That's tough. Like stuff like that, I I, I like you know what I'm saying. Being able to travel, meet new people, you know what yeah. I'm saying. I, I like to be able to create something. And it's like 
without having a cap for myself, you know. So it's not even about entrepreneurship to be trying to just like, oh, I want to just make money, money, money. It's just about like being able to create an opportunity and provide for others for real. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because this mental health clinic, bro, is beyond me. You get what I'm saying? It's just tough. Like I can, my, my father could be a counselor. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Help mentor because all the stories my father got. You get yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. He can help the hell out of somebody. Oh, no, you your get father what I'm saying? always been legendary. You get what I'm saying? So it could be something so simple as like, all right, bet like you can like these are the four, 14 young guys that like that's going through X, Y, and Z. They got similar stories to you, pops. Go crazy. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Or, or it's an admin opportunity, you know what I'm saying? I got a close family member that can do, you know what I'm saying? Where it's like, they don't got to work crazy out. They can work from 10 to 4.30 and still have their evening, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know what I'm saying? Something so simple. Or with the water, you know what I'm saying? Being able to connect with athletes. Like, I'm not an athlete yeah. anymore, but we got an NIL deals where athletes yeah. are being able to make money from I their merch. It, and you know what I'm saying? Their sponsorship. And shout out to Truth Water, bro. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Truth Alkaline, man. Like, yeah. for real, bro. Like, like, these things like that. Like, we, we got fundraiser programs for the youth. You know, usually a, team, usually a team would do, like, Joe Corby's, right? Mm-hmm. And they might sell, like, $2,000 worth of products for Joe Corby's. They might only keep, like, $350 or yeah. something like that. Yeah. It's like, yo, all these kids, they sold 2,000 products, and they only it's got crazy. $350. Like, now you got to stay. robbing these So, so it's like, bro, you're like, yo, you like, good job. You sold $2,000 pr- profit, I mean, a product, but we still not, didn't make enough money to go to Florida. Mm-hmm. It's like, bro, that's crazy. So now we start a fundraising program where it's like, shoot, you could take majority of the income, bro. It's like, as long as we got just enough for like that could just take care of just like the, the bill for the business for real. Like, yeah. go crazy. Like, That's you hard. know what I'm saying? Like, stuff like that. Because like, I was a, t- I, I remember being at Sam's Club on Route 40 trying to sell snacks yeah. and toys. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? The random cars. You know what I'm saying? Kids, people saying, I ain't buying shit from y'all little kids. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So now it's like, we teaching self esteem, we teaching confidence, we teaching entrepreneurship skills, mm-hmm. we teaching uh, sales and marketing. You know what I'm saying? We teach you about health and wellness, teaching you about alkaline water and how the electrolytes can improve your body cells and whatnot. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Rather than, you know what I'm saying? Just talk about anything, you no. know? So that, think that opportunity, like things like that was like to give people opportunity. That's just, that mean the world to me for real. You feel what I'm saying? So That's everything hard. I try to do, it got to like make sense to like people that would like that remind me of me or things that I was already indulged in. You feel oh, me? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 And um, before, well, in a, recently with every guest, we've had it where we ask a random barrage of questions ah! before we get into get real <laughs> podcasty. So, um, and these are random ass questions, and they're okay. going to be asked rapidly. Um, what's your favorite NBA team? Okay, all right, all right. Uh, favorite tennis shoe of all time. Uh, that's always jo- a hard question. Jordan Levens. Okay. Nice. Favorite hood movie. And it has to be uh late nineties, early two thousands. Uh, sh- gotta be- remember the age now. No, 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 we good. You know, I had yeah. I, you know, Come on, yeah, come on. Yeah. Cut, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, cut, yeah. yeah. I know he cut from the club, yo. I'm, I'm yeah. being disrespectful. Uh, yeah, I, I know he cut, yo. Like, he's, he's good. he came from. Um, see, uh, things I like, it was so funny. Like, I like watching like shit like the original 50 Cent and shit like that. Like, ah, you know what I'm okay, saying? Okay, he's just okay. sticking up hella niggas. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, yeah. learning those <laughs> stories like that or whatnot. Like, uh, so a lot of people that might not know, like, I mean, New York people going to know for real stuff like that, but a lot of you might not catch on to that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You talking about the, uh, dang, I can't think of his name right now, but like, I remember real. Good. I know he's talking yeah, about the documentary guy. joint. I know he's yeah. talking about. It's the main dude that used to do all them hood joints, documentaries, like, yeah. around the same time, and everybody started branching. A lot of that community not really feeling how, like Showtime tried to do the Supreme Doc and it was, yeah. it was oh. whack. Uh, and a lot it looked nice, but see, it was I didn't watch. It. Mm-hmm. I didn't like, even know that came out. They trying to get into it now, but yeah. But I know exactly what you're talking about. I got I can't remember the dude's name right now who, who really kicked it off. Normally I wouldn't know because really I actually style watch way. a lot of that stuff like probably like he did. Yeah. You know? mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. For real, man. Favorite boxer fighting right now. Tank. Come on. That's easy. Oh, okay. I, I, that was Loki. Yeah, just a, another I, I, shout I, I, out. Yeah, yeah. Tank, baby. Shout out tank, man. One thirty five getting crazy though. Yeah, they getting busy. Oh, I can't. It's wait. a lot of crazy niggas down they there. They getting yo. busy. All right, favorite rap album of all, of all time. Uh, damn. Yeah, that's wild. Damn. Uh, I couldn't even tell you that one. So that's you take your time with that. Damn, bro. I feel crazy with giving that. I mean, I'll say the Black Album. Okay. All right. No, no, no. That's, that's a good choice. That's a good choice. It, that it, December 4th song really hit me home. Like, hit home. Because, like, my birthday December 6th. So it was, like, his mother talking on the song and everything. Like, that, that, that hit home. So I think the Black Album was crazy for me. That's hot. 
And since Thanksgiving just passed, what's your favorite uh, uh, Thanksgiving meal uh, piece? Like, uh, you like the macaroni, the, the yeah, ham? Yeah, mac- the mac- macaroni and the greens. Oh, my God. I'm going <laughs> crazy. Oh, my God. You For went over real. your people's crib? Yeah, yeah, I, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I did a, uh, I did a lot with it, like you know what I'm saying. Tough, 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 tough. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna ask to divulge too much. You yeah, know, we man. low key anyway. I'm Zay, how man. was your uh, Thanksgiving, bro? That's why I wanted to ask you because I know you, you, you was like hosting this year, dog. Yeah, well, yeah. I did the evening hosting, like the wrap up. Yeah, I'm mad I couldn't make that. I was there. Yeah. Bro. So uh, overall, it was good, man. Then you know the hosting I was on. I had. A, oh, I gotta show y'all the menu. I got. I had a drink menu and everything. Yeah. So I had made the. Uh, my, my famous cider. Okay. Ah. Cider. Then I had like joints on there. I was making throughout the night and DJ, and we had a fantastic time, yo. Not to make yeah. it a hot spot, but how how New Year's looking? We'll talk about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we'll yeah, discuss yeah, it after the podcast. Because I might move on that one. For sure. it, uh, with Thanksgiving, that shit was funny because my grandfather was at the crib. Did y'all all see Nope? Nope. It's a movie? Yeah, yeah the Jordan Peele joint, yo. It was the joint with the, no, uh, no, no, Daniel Kalua. Uh, the same guy that was in Get Out, not Get Out. Was it Get Out? Oh, oh I, 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 yeah, I heard about. Yeah. I didn't see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's on. I think shit. Peacock TV. My father got yeah. all the streaming shit now. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I got the future now. Yo, yo say, yeah, y'all want to watch? No, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, what is it even on? Yo, say they got that on Peacock now. Yeah, the streaming services. That's that's it lit right now, bro. That's it lit, bro. It's crazy how the businesses be changing. Cause yeah. you needed cable, but now they got all these streaming companies. Yeah, you don't need even... somebody figure out how to break the internet shit. Them cable companies is gonna be struggling. Yeah, I love T-Mobile shit like that, tried though. it. I heard the internet trash though. I've what? been wanting to try that T-Mobile internet because it's only like fifty dollars a month or some shit like that. I the Verizon that. expensive but reliable. If you Fam. play Call of Duty and shit, just get your Verizon. You can't be cheap with two K. Just you like, go yeah, off for a jump that shit just cut off. Yeah, lagging. I'd be mad as shit pulling up with the jumper. You never gonna freezing. be able to shoot the Like, ball. why can I get past everybody? Yeah, man. Nah. Yo, that's Where was a... going? Well, I don't even know. Oh, yeah. We was talking about... Uh, basically, I was talking about watching Nope with my grandpa. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I love watching <laughs> movies with him. I'm sorry. I'd be random, but... That was funny. I want I wanted all of y'all to see it, yo, because it, it would have been more hilarious. Y'all yo, watch if you movies saw, like yo. black people, yo, asking questions like, yo, just watch <laughs> the fucking movie. Yo. <laughs> like, y'all keep asking me. Hella black, yo, I was confused. But they're like, yo, Rich, what's going on? Like, yeah. yo, it's 15 minutes in, y'all gotta watch the movie. <laughs> Literally the first five minutes <laughs> when the monkey had killed somebody, dad was like, was that a part of the movie or what? <laughs> yo, I don't even know, yo. I was the same way. I'm like, yo, what's going on? Like, y'all gotta watch. Yo, man, just watch the film, nigga. Like, damn. I just I don't you know. know. I felt like, like, like you said, with that <laughs> scene where it was like the little creepy, like when they was in the barn in the and it looked like the random aliens, really but like that they aliens? was faking. They should if they would have kept it real. at that, where it was just dark, you where can't see much. Building from there, and, and, yo, and they should have just did aliens that. down there. Yo. Like that spaceship shit turned it into the. It was too much. Yeah, I ain't like the invisible turned, monster that just uh, <laughs> flew away and shit. Like that shit was confusing, yo. What was it about, yo? Why did it turn into that blanket thing at the end, yo? Zay, <laughs> I know you watch movies hard, yo. You got to tell me what, what the fuck happened, yo. I was so confused. He felt the same way. He said the same thing. Like that, I would do a long like review, but it was basically... I didn't know. The, the premise of it was like black people and black... It's crazy because I was watching that... Remember that black film documentary I was talking about? It's fantastic. Mm-hmm. It's like two and a half hours long, but it's fantastic. But, um... It's basically about like black film and how black people basically didn't get their justice in black film. Then it's a whole bunch of stuff that's in between it. Um, I even listened to the NPR uh, news so, interview with uh, Jordan Peele, but I already kind of had a feeling that's where it was going. Oh, when they was doing the whole first you know film with the black per- black their grandfather. Yeah, the first person, the first. Oh, person with grandfather. the horse. Yeah, yeah okay, so okay, like okay, we okay. Could, we actually could have did a whole review on it. That should have been mad long because there's so yeah. many theories. And, and it, it blew yeah. me because the acting was good. <laughs> the cinematography. Was the really acting good. was good, <laughs> but it's like, what, what the fuck did y'all do? <laughs> With this story, yeah, it was kind of like nigga. I gotta watch that, man. You gonna be confused. Like, you gonna be mad as shit. <laughs> you gonna be hella mad, it was, yo. It was a lot going on. So you I was like, yo, what is going shit. on? And it's one of them ones you can't like be doing nothing else. You got, yeah. yeah, you literally gotta watch all that shit. Like, so you only have like a, a deeper family, message so. or something. I think so because yeah, it was like a monkey. They was trying to get the shot. Black people, yeah. like, like they was trying to get the shot again as black people and. You just gotta watch it. Uh, you probably get it more and more as you watch it. But yeah, it was a whole like I said, if I, if I, you know I'm gonna get into that movie 
they die bad. So I don't See, that's why I always yeah. ask you because I was watching from another side. Uh, you feel me? I'm like, yo, yo what the fuck? Questions was killing me. Yo. I was, like, I was getting mad. Downstairs, yo. man. I'm the only one watch this with y'all. No yo, more. I'm a, I'm a spoiler. <laughs> yo. you know so, so yeah. I'm not gonna give you all of it, but yo, I'm yeah, tell me something. Man. So basically, it's like, yo, Lupita. I'm, I said Lupita. <laughs> What's her name? God damn, Kiki Palmer, my bad. Kiki Palmer and Daniel Kalua, Their father owned a ranch. They trained horses for like. They was on the outskirts of Hollywood somewhere. You feel me? They out there. They think a spaceship is outside of their crib. Mm -hmm. And they like, yo, tripping. But like weird shit be happening. Like the horse would just run off. Like all kind of crazy stuff. And they was building it up nicely. Like it, mm -hmm. I kind of give you, what was that movie with uh, Bruce Willis? Like Signs a little bit. It gave okay, you those yeah, vibes okay. at first. You feel me? You like, oh, this shit ready to be good. Mm -hmm. And then they just took, I ain't know what they the fuck, the yo. Wrong route, yo. It, it was, was a big a monster route. spaceship, that, invisible thing that was that, eating niggas, yo. You can't look at it. That's and how I, I was like, like, yo, the what? was terrible when it got inside the mountain. Yeah. It was terrible. It yeah, was just... Man. Yo, all that bread they had for that, and the spaceship came flying up looking like the, the first uh, Independence but Day? It's, it's not really a, it's not a spaceship. It's like a living organism. Yeah. Or, or, yeah, if I said it right. But anyway, yeah, it's like a breathing, living thing. Yeah. And it's just mad weird, yo. That was the tie-in with the monkey and shit. It's fucking you know, that's how I feel about that movie. With, um, trying to control. Yeah, yeah, you can't yeah. control wild animals. Yeah. You know I mean, they just really out. In the Ed is. I mean, uh, what's the uh, he like uh, from the UK? Idris Elba. Yeah, with the, with the thing with the lion or something like that. Oh yeah, I, had I ain't see that joint. I bro, see that. what, what was that about, bro? I didn't. Even they see They went that. on a trip. To I like knew Africa, I didn't want to see that shit. And a lion was just chasing them every day, <laughs> and then the lion didn't even kill him. <laughs> so I'm like, yo, like, what the fuck was that shit about, bro? Hey, I feel like that movie was meant for the rock. They need us in the bro, rooms, yo, but when they oh, just, they the bro, it's gonna be the plot. Yeah, that, yo, at the end, I'm like, yo, what just happened? Like, yo, that sound like a rock. It's fucking movie, hilarious. Bro. Bro, I'm gonna watch that now. Rock, just yo, that so blew plot. me, bro. That was crazy. Yeah. yeah. I gotta watch that now just to see it. That's fucking hilarious, yo. And uh, for the for the niggas our age, yo, cause y'all was y'all y'all was a little bit older when Power Rangers, like yo, y'all yeah, had to yeah. revamp like the yeah. third or fourth. Uh, yeah, I couldn't really catch Power Rangers too. Oh, we gotta say rest in peace to the Green Ranger. Tom, yo, yo, that hurt real, niggas our age. I heard about that. Bro. Shit broke me. One of my toys <laughs> all cause I heard it he was, was cool, sad, yo, too, in the early nineties. Like your people had to go to like drive to like Jersey from Baltimore to get you the toy. Yeah. Finding you out toys. Like, real? Like the hell that shit was no, real. It, was it wasn't no Amazon back everywhere. then or none of that they shit. Only one, one that be left be the Blue Rangers. Yeah. yeah. I, you said high heat? See, that's, see, uh, that's why think, I'm so humble. Unfortunately, I think it was, um, I don't know for sure. So I don't want I'll tell you after the episode. Right, I don't want to say it on here to be right, wrong. Okay. But it, it sounded like it was something that would keep your hopes alive. Yeah, it made you hopefully okay. For sure. Yeah, that's that's definitely sad. It's so monumental. I don't know if my favorite color is green because of the Green Ranger, or mm. the Green Ranger is my favorite because my favorite color is green. That's how I'm not. That's because we was bad, bad right? little when that I'm shit first came sure, out. We was like, like four or five. Wasn't he bad at first? Like he was, yeah, he was yeah, the yeah, enemy yeah, at first. Kind of flipped him. Then he turned he to, white him to the White Ranger and he made him like the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> Take the heads from the shit. He was walking around with. Uh, he was summoning up like I don't know. I guess because it's from Tokyo too, but uh, Godzilla on the lawn. Like, <laughs> yeah. Is that trademark infringement? They kind of yeah. they kind of tapping into, but oh, that's funny. <laughs> and I think your name John David Frank, yo. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. No, peace. I looked it up on Twitter. It might be false, uh, false peace. information, but I don't know. But yeah, rest <laughs> in peace to yo. Big part of our child. Yo had three first names. John David Frank, yo. Damn. <laughs> That's Damn. the triple down. The triple down. Like, how, was he, <laughs> the triple down. <laughs> how was he blowing in the uh, food store? Chill, yo, chill, yo, chill, yo. With a plastic mask on his face, yo. Don't even don't think about it. Don't worry about it. Nah, that's funny as shit. I'm going to be a ninjetti next year just because of that. Yo. Yeah. The black one, though. I'm not being a white ranger. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all been listening to anything musically uh, lately? Ooh. Uh, yeah. So, let me see. I mean, I, I'm like, I, I'm want, like, I, I mean, want some of your like, flavor because I, I feel like I'm old now. I, I don't be tapping. See me, bro. It'd be so yeah. crazy because <laughs> the kids trash. say. Because I still listen to Jeezy. Like, uh, how you feel about the late drum, the latest drum? I, I like that. I like that. It was cool. That was solid. For I, it grew like, on me. I was it, mad at first. It, yeah, like it's a few songs that I was like, I didn't need. This. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You know they yeah. be they. But you know, he they, had them ones where it feel like, oh shit, this like, feel like you know old Jeezy. Yeah, like, got I mean, got me motivated oh, a little bit. Shit. He had like a cool three songs. I'm not really like a young boy fan like that. I mean, I listen to Lil Baby. Okay. Let me see. Uh, uh, Meek. I, I like. I, I, at first, when Meek just dropped that joint, I didn't like it at all. But then it grew on me a little bit. Tough. Meek, Jeezy. Um, 
So y'all still be on that wave for real. You know what I'm saying? That what what years was that like? Like damn near 2016 ish. Sound like right. You know what yeah, I'm saying? I'll still be like, all like like all no, all no, all those yeah. artists for real. Like the dance and stuff, I don't get into or. You know, so all that I don't be like all that killer killer too much, Cree. I can't yeah, like, yeah, I'll be be like wild yeah, I'll be like, yo, they be like, tripping. Dang, they <laughs> like, like, yo, like ESTG, I'll be having to cut him Granted, off. I'm lying, then yo. That, it's always been like that, yo. Yeah, I, 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 bro, I we had some ratchet shit overt. back in the day. I think ours was a little bit more, it was more stories, it felt like to it. Like when you got like three six mafia talking about the shit that they be talking about, it felt like it just had more of a a story to it. Well, he's saying like they for be like saying my high school age though, like old dead. Gucci and OJ the no. Juice Man and all them, they oh, still yeah, stuck yeah, 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 yeah. Early Young Gotti, yeah, yeah, yeah. they was, <laughs> was stuck, yo. Early Boosie, mind, like yo, right. it was thugged out too yeah, back then. Nah. It was just a different You age. might be right, my bad. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess now because I just now I'll be older. I'll be listening to that shit now. That's yeah. what happened. I think now that I'll be older, I'll be like, I'll be like, damn, I'll be like, damn, I'll be like, it stick out more now because it was behind the scenes people more so that was getting killed. Now you just seeing the rap was getting killed. Yeah, that, that shit is wild. Yeah, that shit's sad. Like, yeah. Dang, yo, we like three, four, five, six. Like, talk about we it. lost like, a few of them this year. Yeah, yeah. it'd be like three or four main rappers. And then it'd be like six other dudes I never really heard of, but they got some sort of a fan base. So it's like, mm-hmm. it's a lot. It's way more often. It used to be a shocker when like a rapper. Now it's like, damn. Yeah. It just feel bad, but it's not like as shocking anymore. So that's the main thing I think it feel like. It's like, it's really happening, happening, so. Unfortunately. Yeah, for real though. Yeah, they got tapped in with Ron, yo. That's mental health, yo. To just hate on a nigga so bad, you just go kill him because yeah, you think he true. doing well, yo. Yeah, like, yo, that's crazy, that's bro. mental so illness, real. dog. No, that's a wild, fucking mental bro. illness. You don't even yo. gotta think you. You shouldn't well, even be bro. mad. That should be like, yo, I'm happy, yo. Like some, yo, it's possible. Like get around him and try to get some money with him, learn yeah. something from him. God damn. You would think. No, nah, niggas crazy, is bro, crazy, yo. I don't. They be having their still like personal lives going like now. I see rappers before when they have a past. They convert over like, All right, I'm doing music, I'm doing music though. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, motherfuckers still doing, you know what I'm saying? You in oh, and yeah. out. So it's just like. The regular day and day shit. You the still just had an issue with Joe six hours ago. They and just you, had a popping ass song. Another issue is like, the barrier to entry is a lot easier now. So dudes be getting pulled straight off the street. And That's like, what I mean. Yeah. They're going big. Right. It's like, they used to have more artist development or they took more time or it took a little more time for dudes to kind of figure out how to get through the. You know, get their foot in the door and stuff like that. Now these dudes really be like sh- straight up the street. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. It's yeah. definitely like that so now. They, you know, you yeah. don't know how to really navigate that. Yeah, know? you had it's a, a process. That's a lot, yo. You definitely had a process of become an artist before. Yeah, you know yeah. It was A and R's and all that you know shit. Like they like, got listen, go to shows. Like you got this venue, this that, the third. And and that's what kind of like got me out of like doing the entertainment market and stuff with people, bro. Because it's like it just like whatever just floats the boat for real works for real. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like it just like. It was no process to like this how it go. It's just like yo, like I drop something on my social media, my fans fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I go crazy. Get a dance or some mm-hmm. shit off your shit. Yeah, don't Most get a TikTok you know on. You, you, you gonna be you, famous? You got a, you got a certain show, outfit. You, you got a certain amount of money it. posted. You got a certain like thing that could draw enough attention, and you just yeah, that be us all you need. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nobody really no rollout. So it's like it don't really be like a like you don't. It's, it's hard to categorize what's technically good or what's technically bad because this person like what's the, what's the, that female rapper name like Sweetie. Mm-hmm. Like she gets hella attention. She got plaques like for all these Grammys. I think uh, oh, yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. But then she sold two thousand copies of, like for a whole album. See, I didn't even know. Yeah, that. like two thousand. I did copies, see that bro. on uh, I think Twitter or somewhere. Well, that's why yeah. they was going in on all. Bro, like that's like it was like you know what I'm saying. So it's like you got plaques because you got a hit song that went viral. You still gotta make good music. But then you but then you drop a tape and like no one listens to yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? So but you gotta be hard when you make music. That's yeah, the thing like, niggas forget. Like, yo, you can't have one song, yo. It's some and it's the microwave that era. All you yeah, gotta yeah. do is put out like eight hard songs and niggas and, gonna and, fuck and with you. You good. You know, like you twice a year. You I told straight. You twice a year. If you get on TikTok with a dance show like in any way, Bro, you I, don't even have to do the dance. Somebody just took your song put that shit on a dance video for some reason. But it was a dude that was locked up. Like he was like some country dude, bro, southern dude, and he was locked up for like three years. His song blew up, <laughs> like, yeah, just like, happening. like it, was, it was crazy. Yeah, it should definitely it's happen like that. Things. You been listening to anything, Rich? No, nah, I've been kind of still just going back to the old stuff we was uh, on. Of course, salute to Jordan Bryant and them with the worth saving. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, and shout out Jordan Bryant. This the not for nothing shirt. Yeah. You feel me? You I'm always like, got. Like you feel me? I'm happy we had for the homies. So those guys, is nice cool t-shirts, bro. Um, your boy that. Desmond put me on to CEO Trail, I think is his yeah. name. I like him. I no, he know. hard. I think you would like him, Ron. I feel like he would. He's wild. He's a wild. His name is CEO Trail. Yeah. Right here. 
He hard. I know you would like him. Yeah. I only got two. I, I keep tapping what y'all get. Because it's all like, yeah, it's, I'm, I'm already down. It's on him. that thug kind of shit. But like, just listen to that. He that smooth. One. He is smooth. Uh, I love you, but that's that, that song is kind of tough. Bro. Pause. If Nick's, if Nick's Trail song. is like a t r a. Oh yeah, I already. Yep, yeah, I found him. Yeah. No, he definitely hard. He kind of tough. So yeah. uh, and I her loss. I've been running back to that because yeah. I was yeah, trying yeah. not to listen yeah. to it because everybody was saying it was nice and I was like, I don't want to hear that. I'm telling y'all now, yo. So I, I, I predict the future with she shit was like going that, in. yo. That one, that bullshit going to be the NBA playoffs like song, yo. Like that shit is just. Bro, no, that. That's, that's going to be the NBA really, playoffs halftime song on that bull. And they just going to bleep it out. They going to have niggas mm-hmm. doing hard moves. Like, bro, yeah. NBA t- I can see what, it, yo. TNT commercials. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> some bull. And they 21. And they could just bleep it out <laughs> real yeah, quick, yo. And it got the sand. The beat still going to be hitting, like. For real, bro. But not really much of anything else, truthfully. It's yeah. been all of the old shit. Still yeah. Primo was on there. Smino shit. I got to start putting together our list, I guess, for the uh, our five albums for the, the year. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, a few yeah, of them yeah. that New crossed years, over from the first time that we put it out. I think they still on there. I th- yeah. Vince Staples is definitely I got to really do a thorough check, yeah, though, because it's a lot of shit I like this year. A lot of shit came out this year. It did. Yeah. It was a lot of shit that came out. So I can't wait to do that. But, but nothing else, really. Oh, all right. I was in the crate this week. <laughs> I was in the crate. Oh, yeah, he was so bucking out. I was, was bumping at real so first I was in my West Coast, like Oakland, like ninety four to ninety six shit. Dang. Cause like I was listening to Drew Down, yo, yo. And I knew about the second album that we was talking about, the covers, eh? Um can that you, Can You Fail Me can joint. You feel me? That's one and you albums. said the Elevens. He got on mm-hmm. the bread mm-hmm. elevens with like one of the you remember the sweatsuits the that made sweatsuits. hella noise yeah, in the, the 90s. Joints, yeah. The Switch joints, yeah. Like a player with the jerry curl just straight smoking the black. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you thug out. <laughs> that nigga, yo. The, bro, yo, you were the first people, bro, that, that that was telling you about all the West Coast artists, bro. Like, when, did, when did you when did that start, bro? Like, what made you like tap in? See, like you gotta realize, like my older cousins was from down south, so I was big on like down south shit. Like I never listened to like Jay Z and Nas and mm-hmm. shit like that. Okay. And then they used to be like uh, three six mafia used to get in that like real smooth bag, mm-hmm. and I'm like, yo, where this shit come from? Then when I heard West Coast shit, I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah. damn, it, all the shit sound like yeah. this, like that super smooth, just. I can ride to this. Like, yeah. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> I'm that's always been you, bro. For that's real, me, though. Because, like, like, I forgot what, who yeah. was that you put me on. It's three artists you put me on with, bro. I can't oh even God. remember. Bro. I always was on my super uh, bro, smooth you, music. You, you yo. always had some slick artists, if he was bro. with him at Target, he was wildin'. Bro, he was at Target with me, yo. Yeah, bro. I forgot what artists. Well, was it, bro? I wouldn't was be surprised it? if it was a song. It might have been Dom Kennedy. Dom, Dom Kennedy was It might have been sure Dom. Boy. I know that's back when I was in my Dom bag, because that was like 2011, Was it Currency? Currency, yes. Was Currency dark? He has that West Coast flow, but he's more. Yeah, I like all the smooth shit. Because he's what? New it was Orleans? somebody else, bro. From New Orleans. Yeah. Oh, for real? Okay. Yeah. And then uh, probably, I would think it would be like Nipsey might have been in there. I don't know yeah. if he had already. We was early Nipsey before. listeners. I got on, I got on Nipsey two that. months before he died, yeah. bro. Yeah, we was oh, early that, Nipsey listeners. That him and King Von. Yeah, that Rich and was, was early. Huh? Huh? His was like last album was, that's still Yeah, y'all was Nipsey ain't got no names. I was like, not until Chris. Victory Lap is crazy still. Yeah. But yeah. But Tap I, into that Drew Down though. I'm gonna give yeah, give a shot because I didn't know Mike really had listened to Drew Down before. Yeah. So he had hit we was maybe on the phone or whatever. I don't like, know what it was. was I think you posted like, it and I got hyped because oh, I saw okay. it. I'm like, yo, I remember I put you on that Can kid. You feel no, me? I don't think it's going That's still hard. Period, I swear, yo, Can if you pull up, run, if you pull up, bro, if you pull up, bro, if you pull up to the spot bumping that, people gonna be confused, but they're gonna be like, yo, smooth. And he knows something. He knows something. Chopping it up with Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that joint hard. Like that yeah. album hard. The, the, like the mini skits, all of that. It's an underrated hip hop album. It's fly though. Yeah. Then I was on my '96 shit. My, you know, I'm an R and B ass. Yeah, nigga I too, already, you know, I already know. Uh, I was bumping that Donnell Jones, my heart. You feel me? Okay. Like, it's a joint on there called. Uh, I think it's called In the Hood, yo remix, yo. Player. player, I was like, so <laughs> player, yo, yo, I'm telling you, you pull up bumping that, yo, you got, you can only have one hand yeah, on the wheel, yo, on the wheel. <laughs> only <laughs> one hand, yo, to the steering wheel, yeah, and then uh, lastly, I was in my old school shit, the Osley Brothers, because Thanksgiving came up, mm-hmm. um, it's Go for Your Guns, and then uh, Voyage to Atlanta show, that might be one of the most smooth. Oh, the guitar man. solo. Yo, you you know I share playlists, bro. You gotta share me some. You got playlists or something? Yeah, I got. I got start yeah. sending you. Yeah, stuff yo, man, share me yo, a playlist, just bro. Game, random, random. <laughs> that shit smooth though. I know you know about that, yo. Oh, the cool. Voyage to Atlanta show. Yeah, Rob was going yeah. crazy, and then he had the. You know what I mean, the guitar going crazy. 
That whole just is Yeah, my man hit you with that. Yeah. I'll always <laughs> come back to you. That's <laughs> his movie coming up. I'll always. I was coming up the giant like I was really. <laughs> yo, I thought I was running out. You had the old joints <laughs> looking, yo. You yeah. probably had come the Cougars. Back. Like, crazy. Crazy. like, yo, who is that? The Cougars was crazy looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, and you know something that was funny? We saw a commercial. Cameo supposed to have a uh, concert here in Baltimore. Yo, I we should know, know. I know. I, I, we should pull up. I kind of That's some super old head oh, player wow, shit, I yo. I got the, uh, I the vinyl uh, with Cameo on it. Yeah, <laughs> my man gonna hit you with that taste like candy. You got the vinyl. I wanna know. That's just gonna be I wanna slide on that one. I wanna just go down and see what it's like. I just wanna see what the crowd look like. I wanna see what the crowd look like. You know they gonna be out there with their best shit on. Oh, yeah. yeah, hella fedoras, yo. Yeah, mad fedoras and Bluetooth. <laughs> and Kangos, Bluetooth, yo. <laughs> Kangos, yeah. Yo, that's funny, yo. Oh, yeah, and we also got to say prayers up to Sinbad, yo. I saw he was sick, oh, too. Oh, man. Um, yeah. and, Salute to Sinbad. Oh, yeah, before we go too far, yo, we always got to thank you again for pulling up. No, nah, for sure, man. Thank yeah. y'all, man. Plug where they can tap Plug inwardly on the socials, everything. too, bro. Where we can get this, um, the water, The truth, water, the everything. Truth. You got a lot of branding and marketing to do, to sir. Do, man. Truth Alkaline. Marketing w- and Mitch. www.truthalkalinewater.com. The game plan, www.dawnenterprises.net. Um, game plan coming. It's going to probably be out by the time y'all see this, man. Like, this is for anybody that really want to change their life for the better, man. And it only got to be nothing financial. It could be personal. It could be weight-wise. It could be family-oriented. It could be relationship-wise. Whatever you got to uh, focus on to tap into this year, please make sure you do so, bro. Like, it don't even mean nothing to me about as far as, like, it don't benefit me. It benefits yourself. So I just want anybody to focus on their true self and help their help themselves, you know, maximize their potential and grow wherever they, you know what I'm saying, see best fit in life for real. Tough. Appreciate y'all, man. Support them black businesses. Yeah, support, man. bro. I love it, yo. I love did, it. I'm man. proud of y'all, yo. Yo, appreciate it. Proud you, of man. y'all, yo. Y'all doing it up. And we Good job, did. guys. Came far from the last podcast, bro. This yeah. shit, this shit, amazing, totally bro. Seeing this, bro, now. like all these way like different. This, Skin all shit. glowing on the screen <laughs> now. You know what I'm saying? Like the whole nine, bro. Like I love it, bro. That's why I was hitting you. I'm like, yo. I Appreciate love what it, I see. I'm like, yo, I gotta get back on, bro. Appreciate like, you know, what no, saying? Like, I, I just wanted it to be right for mm-hmm. real. Yeah, like, for sure, bro. Everything like, like you, it's mm-hmm. all strategic, yo. I already know, I'm bro. Telling you, yo. you know, what I'm saying, I'm a fan, bro. I'm a fan, bro. Like, been seeing y'all since I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate so it just mean a lot yeah. to see, like, I still able to connect with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. In, a, in a good fashion. You know what I'm saying? It's you know everything genuine. You know, so that mean the world to me, bro. Like. The release just mean everything. No, bro. you always you know been saying? the guy, yo. You this always cool. been my this, guy. I remember you know, seeing, always, bro. I can't like, divulge the stories too much, but <laughs> yeah. if I life. saw him going That's up and down the street, I might yeah. holler at him like, yo, holler at me real yeah. quick, bro. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely the days, man. For real, bro. Yep. And we always got to say rest in peace to Big Reese. Again, peace. episode 237, Coach Class Pod. Like, rate, subscribe, man. Peace. You did. They asked me what I'm coaching right. I said, bro, I'm coaching life. I said, bro, I'm coaching life. They asked me when I'm coaching, right? I said, bro, I'm coaching life. I said, bro, I'm coaching life.